I have a very well-known love of Brussels sprouts, I think. Today's recipe is so delicious, it's a Brussels sprout slaw. Have you ever had raw Brussels sprouts? Well, if you haven't, and you've been so overcome by love of Brussels sprouts from roasting them and sauteing them, give this recipe a try. I'm starting off by making a salad dressing. That was two teaspoons of honey, a tablespoon of grainy mustard, three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. It's a nice, bright dressing. Great side for the holidays because you can make it ahead. The Brussels sprouts are so nice and crunchy that you can make it in the morning for the evening. Slaws get better with age, did you know that? <laughs> and just two tablespoons of olive oil. Look, I'm measuring, do you believe it? I don't know, I had the measuring spoon in my hand. Salt and pepper. Nice, simple, delicious dressing. The sweetness of the honey is offset by the acidity of the white wine vinegar, so that's why there's so much vinegar and not that much oil, because of the sweetness. Put that aside. This is a slaw that's made with radicchio and Brussels sprouts, a nice combination of colors for the holiday, I think. Remove the core from your radicchio. If you find that those two things together are too bitter, you could use, what else would you use? You could use, mm-hmm, mm, well, I guess you could use all Brussels sprouts. It's basically, do you like radicchio or not? I actually love it. I think it's delicious, and I think it's a beautiful color mixed with the Brussels sprouts. Cut it up really fine, as for slaw. As you cut everything up, you can just add it to the bowl as you go along. I'd say that's about two cups of shredded radicchio and a pound of Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts are just gonna be shredded in a similar manner. You don't have to remove the core when you're shredding Brussels sprouts. You can do this in a food processor if you want to. It makes quick work of it, but the texture's not quite as shreddy. It's more grady, so I like to do it by hand if I have time. I love making a slaw like this for the holiday table because it's a nice, fresh balance. You know how often all of the recipes are gonna be really heavy and really rich and you feel overloaded at the end of the night? I like to add in some nice, fresh, lighter dishes. I just like the balance, something crunchy and light, something rich like a delicious mashed potato, maybe a non-bread stuffing like a wild rice stuffing like we did this week. You know, mix it up. Add the Brussels to the bowl with the radicchio and the dressing. These two. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of minced chives. Chives are great for their mild oniony flavor, not overwhelming at all. But if you can't find chive, go out and get scallions. You could replace the chives in this recipe with maybe a quarter cup of minced scallion green. Add the chives. And then a quarter cup of sunflower seeds. The crunch with the Brussels sprouts, so good together. Give it a nice stir. And then you can let this sit for a couple of hours. It'll probably just get better with age. Just let it rest in the dressing and sort of absorb all the flavors. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? I think that you're really gonna wanna make this this year because Brussels sprouts are a common thing on the holiday table. Why not do something a little bit different with them? Give it a little season with some salt. Let it sit for a few hours and enjoy this really fresh and delicious new take on Brussels sprouts for the holidays. Gorgeous, right? Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.